Setting ourselves up for this design has everything to do with good preparation. What we're going to do is make sure that we push the client's cuticles back and we are going to gently remove shine around the perimeter of the nail before we lightly tickle it away from the surface. Remember, you're not being aggressive. You want to be able to tickle away the shine to create a nice textured surface so that you have the right surface for the enhancement to bond to. We do not want to have lifting. Once we are done removing shine from the natural nail, we're going to use swipe to cleanse the surface of oils, contaminants, and dust. Notice how it's going to leave a nice chalky surface. Once we are done doing that, we are setting ourselves up for protein bond application. We are going to come through with one coat from cuticle to free edge on all 10 nails. As soon as you're done doing the 10th nail, you're going to come back with your second coat and you're going to go through all 10 nails. Once you are done applying protein bond a second time through all 10 nails, you're now ready for application. When it comes to reverse application, the key is obviously loading up your brush with the right amount of liquid so that you could pick up a pearl to set down once, not twice, once. What we want to be able to do is load up our brush. We want to be able to get a nice pearl that we could set at the cuticle area. I'm going to make sure that we are going to work the cuticle area flush to the natural nail and bring the product down towards the smile line. The key is making sure that we have a nice even structure from side to side. I'm always looking bird's eye view so the corners of my smile line match up. This is also really important to see that you have a nice shelf from side to side. You don't want it too thin on the corners. We're now ready for form application. I'm going to place the tab underneath the form I like to pre-pinch the tip. I'm gonna open up the back end. And this is going to allow me to get it underneath the free edge, nice and flush. Notice how I'm pinching from below. That way we have a nice pucker and we are ready for sculpting application. The first custom mix we are going to create is a purple mix. I'm going to make sure that when we pour our powder, we're going to pour it right up below this ledge. The first thing we're going to do is take a really heavy load of Miona Sky. We are now going to take a dash of Royal Blue and a dash of Rockstar. The second mix we are going to create, again, taking our speed clear and bringing it right up to the ledge, is just the opposite. This time, what we want to be able to do is take a really heavy dash of royal blue and just a small amount of Rockstar. We're going to place the caps in the jars. What we're going to do is roll them to get a really nice mix. So as you can see, we are going to be left with a really deep purple and we're going to be left with an incredible blue. The first part of this design is taking our custom purple mix and we have to make sure that we bring it right up to the smile line on both edges. Notice how I'm using the body of the brush to balance it all the way up to the very front. I wanna actually try to keep a majority of the product up at the smile line. And as I am balancing it through the nail, 
I'm trying to keep it a little bit thinner at the free edge, at the very, very front of the nail. Now again, allow this to set. Notice the angle of my brush is here. I'm not too flat. This way I could push it up to the smile line, not too flat. As the product starts to set, we're going to use our painter's knife to gently remove this corner. Now again, you do not want to do it too quickly. If you do it too quickly and the product is too wet, you're not going to get a nice, even cut. One of the things I like to do is take my painter's knife, just dip it inside your powder, and this is going to allow me to lightly cut away a really clean edge, just like that. Notice how defined the edge is. We are now going to take our blue and we are going to butt it right up to the cut that we made. And again, all you wanna be able to do as you see is hold it in position. All I'm doing is taking my brush, tucking it up to the edge I created and making sure that we're actually holding it in place. Same thing applies when you're about to make your next cut. You cannot cut too quickly. You have to allow the product to set so that when you make your second cut, you're going to have clean lines. As the product sets, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to dip my painting knife in my powder and what I want to be able to do is cut here. And then again, I'm going to come from the top edge and I'm going to use this side of the blade to cut here. And we're going to lightly remove a triangular corner. I could always come in with my painter's knife and do a little bit of detail work just by pushing back the edges so we have the definition that we want. But you can see how tight I'm actually able to cut that corner away. What we want to be able to do at this point is take our custom purple and I'm going to fill in the space. Once we fill in the space, we are going to complete the design by capping it with Speed Clear. I'm going to take a nice thin layer of Speed Clear. I'm going to butt it right up to the edge. Notice again, I'm trying to keep it thinner at the smile line and use the body of my brush to cap the design complete. We're now going to allow this to dry and when it dries, we're going to file it into perfection. Once the product is set, we are going to remove the form and we are going to file the perimeter before we implement eye formation for perfect shaping. Once we are done shaping the perimeter, we are now going to switch out to our safety bit. I'm going to use the overhand grip. And what we're going to do is we are going to file the upper arch. Notice how I'm using from zone one to zone three to shape the upper arch. I'm going to look down the barrel of the nail. I'm going to focus zone three of my barrel. And since I am right-handed, I am working in forward and I'm pulling towards myself. I don't want to go side to side. I want to come in one direction, looking down the barrel of the nail so that I have a nice even C-curve all the way through. 
Okay, once I'm done doing the free edge, I'm going to come around the cuticle area, making sure that we blend this to perfection. And then I'm going to come through the whole entire nail to make it all nice and even. Once we are done, I'm ready to perfect it with my hand file. Using your hand file to blend the cuticle area flush to the natural nail, and what I mean flush is not getting your fingernail caught at the back end. This is going to eliminate any chance of lifting. Once we are done coming through and removing all imperfections from the nail, I'm going to use a sponge buffer to lightly graze the surface. Again, I do not want to remove all the texture. That way our finished gel is going to bond well to the surface of the acrylic. Once we remove the dust from the surface of the nail, I'm going to take finish. I'm going to apply a nice even coat from cuticle to free edge. Okay, once the product has set, as you can see, you're going to get a great finish, great shine, and a great design.